Oh yeah, Christmas, it's all happening now, isn't it? It's all happening. All oh, the women, the women, you can see, they get that sort of organisational <laughs> look in their eye. <laughs> it's just completely obsessed with planning. I've got to get ready, I've got to get ready. I've got so much to think about. It happens, I think, at, at the final firework on fireworks night. When you, you have the finale. <laughs> and the smoke clears and you see all the women going, Christmas. <laughs> I've got to start getting ready for Christmas now. Christmas is coming. Don't talk to me. I'm thinking, I'm planning. I need so... There's so much to do, darling! <laughs> Men do the tree. I love, I love getting my tree and putting my tree up in my house. Come, darling, see the tree I chose. <laughs> Big, bushy tree. And then you decorate it, it looks beautiful, doesn't it? And one of the main things you have to do when decorating a tree, as we all know, is you have to make sure that the plug is right at the back and the wire so you can't see it, so it doesn't ruin the aesthetic. <laughs> the problem with this, of course, is that every night, you leave it on because it looks so lovely, <laughs> then you're halfway up the stairs and you stop. And you think, there could be a fire. <laughs> Which means that literally every night of December, before bed, I'm downstairs, under the tree. <laughs> down the <laughs> tree. <laughs> I need to just... Some, Danny, can you help me? I can't reach the button. The button. <laughs> I tell you what, December, prime time for sellotape and scissors. <laughs> That's when these two really come into their own, isn't it? You all, by the way, everyone in this room has sellotape and scissors, and you think you know where they are. <laughs> they're probably not there, because they're always on the move. You're sitting there going, I actually know where my sellotape and scissors are, but no, not when you want them, not when you bloody want them! When we open in the drawer, I thought they were, who's moved the scissors? <laughs> they move on their own, the scissors, they're crafty little bastards. <laughs> and the sellotape, as soon as you leave the sellotape unattended, it will wind itself up when you're not looking. <laughs> Days on end of December are spent with me just looking round the tape. I thought, <laughs> how could this have happened? Surely soon or soon I will find a way in. Look at your watch. I think I've been here now for three days. <laughs> and then you find it. Finally, I'm in. And you get some kind of weird backward triangle bit. <laughs> I'm not in. I thought I was in, but I'm not in. Sometimes you give up. I'm not going to look for the scissors anymore. I'm going to buy new scissors. I don't care. I don't need to spend my whole life looking for scissors. I'm going to get new scissors. You think you've won. You think you've won, don't you? You get your new scissors. I've got some new scissors. Forget the old scissors. I'm going to spend my whole life looking for those babies. Here's my new scissors. Then you realise that the scissors come in a plastic packaging that closely... <laughs> closely covers the scissors. And you can't get in... unless you have scissors. <laughs> the very thing you need is staring at you through the plastic window. And they look at you, don't they? Find a way in, dickhead. <laughs> Can you? Go on, find your old scissors. You thought you'd won. You haven't won. We've won. The scissors have won. <laughs> Most people use the scissors in the classic scissor way, don't they? They cut. This is, you know how to use scissors. You get the paper. You, know, you see how much you might need. Then you start cutting like that. That's how people cut. But there are some people amongst us. Gifted, special people. <laughs> the gliders. These people are amazing. Hidden within normal society. <laughs> Some can even do the ribbon thing. <laughs> Most of us, we're not gifted in this way. But every single year, each and every non-gifted glider attempts the glide. Make sure that nobody is looking. We try and do something we've seen other people do. I think you probably just push it there. <laughs> I've ruined the paper! I've ruined the paper! It was supposed to go shh, but it went <laughs> I will save my next attempt for next year. <laughs> okay, so we're just finishing up for Christmas. And I want you to see the seven sets of scissors. Now, going back to the left on the orange, that's the oldest scissor who's lived with us. Uh, then we have the red, and then the black, and then the white. Now, for whatever reason, these scissors 
go and hide and go missing. So every year we start out looking for the scissors and we go out and purchase a new set. Uh, you'll see this set of three that came as three. They came this year to live with us. So I don't know if your scissors experiences are like our scissor experiences, but uh, I'm not sure whether we give gift any of these to anybody or we just keep them uh, together so that they stay happy and will stay in in one place maybe. So tell me your scissor story. I'm sure it's as interesting as ours. And uh, Merry Christmas to you and a Happy New Year.